בן סקורו שיפשש נצייתניה כבו נתיננדה שידבית הגדן הר שיבת דינגור ובוק דברין דקיג'ה שרי שרי רדה קשנה גופי גופי נפשם הכל נר הכל גירי גוברן קיג'ה ברנדה ורנדם קיג'ה מייפור דם קיג'ה נבדיק דם קיג'ה ז'גנת ברידם קיג'ה גם נמאי קיג'ה ג'ם נמאי קיג'ה Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Tussi Devi Ki Jai, Samaveta Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai, Gura Prima Nanda. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Worries to Shri Shri Guru in Kauranga. All glories to His Divine Grace. Shri Va Prabhupada, Namam Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pradeshtaya Bhutale. Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Svamiliti Namane. Namaste Sarasvate Devi Gauravani Pracharine. Nirvishet Shunyavadi Pashtanyadishatarine. So today we are continuing on this ecstatic Srimad Bhagavatam study. Prabhupada so kindly has given us this Srimad Bhagavatam with great mercy. Let us connect with Prabhupada's mercy by carefully, devotedly, attentively studying the Srimad Bhagavatam. Today we're in the fourth canto, chapter 16, a new chapter today. Praise of King Prithu by the professional reciters. Text number one. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Maitreya Uvacha Iti Bhuvanam Vatim Gayaka Muni Charita Tushtuvu Tushtam Manasa Tat Bak Amrita Sevaya Maitreya Uvacha Eti Bhuvanam Nupata Gayaka Muni Chodita Tushtivushtusha Manasas Tad Bhagam Nita Sevaya Maitreya Vacha Eti Brubhanam Nipachim Ayaka Muni Chodita Tushta Vashtushta Manasas Tad Bhagam Nita Sevaya Maitreya Uvacha Sati Bhuvanam Nipachim Ayaka Munachodita Tushtu Vashtushtu Manasas Tad Bhagam Nita Sevaya Maitreya Uvacha Iti Bhuvanam Nipachim Gayaka Munichodita Tushta Vushtushta Manasas Tandagam Nita Sevaya All right, we're doing to do a, let's see, get it set properly here. Do a... Mari will 
Sorry, Mataji, I lost my voice here. Uh, I just uh, got connected again. 16 months. Poor 16 months. Hare Krishna Guru Mata, Hare Krishna Guru Dev. Maitriya Vacha. Iti Burvanam Nipatim. 
Gayaka muni chodita. Chodita. Tusta tuspa tusta manasas. Tusta manasas. That vaga amitta sevaya. Vaga sevaya. Hare Krishna. Maitreya vacha. Hare Krishna Guru Mata. Hare Krishna. My three of Vacha. My three of Vacha. It is Bruvanam the Patim. It is Bruvanam the Patim. Sita Muni Chodita. Sita Muni Chodita. Sita Vus Tushta Manasas. Sita Manasas. Sadhuvag Amrita Sevaya. Sadhuvag Sevaya. Hare Krishna Shila Guru Dev Hare Krishna Guru Mataji Hare Krishna. Vaitreya vacha. Vaitreya vacha. Vaya Hare Krishna Guru Mataji, Hare Krishna Guru Zen. Hare Krishna. Mere te vach cha. Mere te vach cha. Iti pravaram nipatim. Iti pravaram nipatim. Kayas kaam mani chodita. Kaam mani chodita. Dushtu vushtu. Dushtu manasa. The great sage Maitreya said, Siddhi. Thus, Ravanam speaking, Nipatim, the king, Gayaka, the reciters, Muni, by the sages, Jodita, having been instructed, Tushtaru, praise, satisfied, oh, wait, uh, Tushta, being pleased, Manasa, their minds, cut his back words, Amrita, Nectarian, Sevia, by hearing. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Pariva Jakacharya Asthatara Sadashi Shimab. A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Tri Dandi Goswami The great sage Maitreya continued, While King Kritu thus spoke, the humility of his nectarian speeches pleased the reciters very much. Then again they continued to praise the king highly with exalted prayers 
as they had been instructed by the great sages. Here the word muni shodika indicates instructions received from great sages and saintly persons. Although Maharaj Prithu was simply enthroned on the royal seat and was not at that time exhibiting his godly powers, reciters like the, the Magadha and the Vandi understood that King Prithu was an incarnation of God. They can understand this by the instructions given by the great sages and learned Brahmins. We have to understand the incarnations of God by the instructions of authorized persons. We cannot manufacture a God by our own concoctions. As stated by Naratam Dastakur, Sadhu Shastra Guru, one has to test all spiritual matters according to the instructions of saintly, script, saintly persons scriptures and the spiritual master. The spiritual master is one who follows the instructions of his predecessors and any of the sadhus or saintly persons. A bona fide spiritual master does not mention anything not mentioned in the authorized scriptures. Ordinary person have to follow ordinary people have to follow the instructions of sadhu, shastra and guru. These statements made in the shastras and those made by the bona fide sadhu or guru cannot differ from one another. Reciters like the Sutta and the Magadha were confidentially aware that King Prithu was an incarnation of the personality of God. Although the king denied such praise because he was not at that time exhibiting his godly qualities, the reciters did not stop praising him. Rather, they were very pleased with the king, who although actually an incarnation of God was so humble and delightful in his dealings with the devotees. In this connection, we may note that previously, 4.15.21, it was mentioned that King Prithu was smiling and was in a pleasant mood while speaking to the reciters. Thus, we have to learn from the Lord or his incarnation how to be calm, gentle, and humble. The king's behavior was very pleasing to the reciters, and consequently the reciters continued their praise and even foretold the king's future activities as they had been instructed by the sadhus and sages. Bande Yam Shri Guru Shri Jagapatapamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragnatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitam Shcha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasvate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashtachadishatarine Mukam Karoti Vachalam Bangum Magade Hidam Yat Kripatamam Bande Shri Guru Dinatarvanam. So it's very important that we understand God not by the ridiculous statements of the rascals, but by the authorized scriptures. I know on my own seeking for spiritual realization and seeking to find God. I, I found one book called The Book on the Taboo Against Knowing Who You Are. And this book said, actually, you are God. Right now you're playing the hide and go seek with yourself. You've got to come out of hiding and be God. So I tried to pull it off, but I couldn't pull it off. I was thinking, oh, I'm God. I'm God. I'm God. I noticed things weren't going the way I wanted them to go. After two or three days, I realized that it wasn't God. It was a, just a false philosophy. But such, such rascals are out there, you know, claiming that everyone's God, or I'm God, or you're God, or all God. So I was carried away by these my buddies at some time. I used to go to some famous uh, so-called guru in San Francisco. He, his name was Steve Gaskin. He, there was a... Uh, a, a a famous, I think it was a rock palace here, but they had the big rock concert. 
and even on Monday, it was called the Monday Night Class. They had like a, like a thousand hippies would come. And uh, I was a Maya Valley at the time. He, he said, who, he, he said, can you name any incarnations? I said, we're all incarnations. He said, oh, your head's in a good place. <laughs> So that I came out of that Mayavadi school and I realized that actually, finally I, I realized it was just complete nonsense. That, that Jesus Christ is actually an ideal uh, spiritual master. So what was his secret? What was his secret? What made him a self-realized soul so I can also become a self-realized soul? So, I was reading the Bible trying to figure out what was his secret, what made himself realize that one day, Eureka, I found him, he says, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. So I knew I, to become self-realized, you have to do what God wants, not what you want. And that's exactly what Krishna says in the Gita. So actually the Bible is teaching in a very elementary way, the same thing the Bhagavad Gita is teaching. Sarva dharmam kudit yoja, mame kam shudadam yoja. You have all other activities fully surrendered to me. I deliver you from all your sense of reactions. You don't have to worry about anything. Don't fear. So that, then I was so seeking how to do that, and Krishna sent one very, very special devotee named Vishnu Jana Swami here to ask. And I, I was just reading a letter yesterday. The top I wrote to Vishnu John when he was here in Austin. He had a very special uh, feeling for Vishnu John Swami. The, the way he would like sing the kirtan, Baba was very much liked his kirtan. And he said, I look, he's, Baba is saying, I want, to, I want to be back with you and hear your kirtan. So he, he was, Baba, very much, and we were also being carried away. He was, actually, his kirtans are very famous in those days in his country. When Vishnu Jaswami was leading Kirtan, everybody going to ecstasy. And Papa certified his Kirtan was very special. So we got to be blessed with his Kirtan here in Austin, also his Kirtans. It's wonderful, wonderful chanting of Hare Krishna Mantra. So in this way, we actually, by, by from the bona fide spiritual master, from the bona fide scriptures, uh, from the sadhu, the saintly people, we actually learn who is God. We find out that, I'm, you mean I'm not God? You see, this, it's ridiculous because it's my body philosophy that I'm God. It's all the reason we got here to begin with. Can you imagine? Thinking that we are God, that's why we took birth in this material world. I'm God. I'm the Supreme. I don't want to be the Supreme. All right. Here's a word where you can think you're the Supreme. Yes, I'm the Supreme. It's like we go in the backyard here, the little dog on the other side of the fence. He thinks he's the Supreme. You've been out in the backyard when he starts barking? I mean, he's. Suddenly take the hose and spurt to cool him down, try to cool him off a little bit. I don't know if the, the, next, the lady next door thinks about making her dog wet. You know, but we do it anyway sometimes, a little, little bit, not too much. But yeah, he thinks he's God. You see? Everybody, everybody thinks he's God. Even the tree thinks he's God. He sends his roots out. He doesn't, he doesn't mind what he destroys. His five roots are going out now. I'm the Lord. Boom. Even the mosquito, the mosquito thinks he's God. Every living entity in this material existence thinks that they're God. That they're supreme. That's why they're here. You see. That's why we have all these wars going on between nations. Russia thinks we are God, and every we can take whatever we want. If we want the Ukraine, we can have the Ukraine because we're God. You see, see there's a whole mentality. You see. I'm God. I'm God. I'm God. But actually, just become the servant of God. This is Baba gives the example. Of, we heard a million of times of the tree and also the uh, the body. Every part of the, the body needs nourishment. The hands need nourishment, but but when they take the food from the uh, bowl, they don't just squeeze it in the fingers. They give it to the give it to the mouth. They go to the stomach. It's, Every part of the body actually cooperates to send the food to the stomach. And in the tree also, the water has to go to the root. So what is the root of creation? That is Krishna. Krishna is the root of all existence. He's like the belly of all existence. 
So we have to give that loving service to Krishna to the root of all existence. That's how we become satisfied. We, become, we satisfy all the bodily parts by feeding the belly. So similarly, we become satisfied when giving happiness, satisfaction to Krishna. The other difficulty is we try to enjoy separately. That's why we go through this chapala sukha, happiness and distress, happiness and distress, happiness and distress. Because we're trying to enjoy separately. That's our disease, our mental disease. We're trying to enjoy separately. We're still, even after being, even initiated devotees, we still have that tenants. That's why we're not able to see Krishna. You know what Papa told me? He said, now you, he personally told me in a letter, now you just become qualified to see Krishna face to face. Written. So why am I not there yet? Because I still think I'm the I still think I'm the angel. That's why I'm not seeing I'm just seeing Austin instead of Goloka Vindavan. Because I still have that I'm still polluted by that mentality, yes. So we have to and even after fifty what is it? Fifty one years of chanting Hare Krishna, I still think I'm God. A little bit, you know, that tenants still there. After 51 years, can you imagine? 1971, and I was going on 52 years, pretty soon. I've been, ch been uh, chanting 16 rounds, following the principle, serving spot of instruction. So, we have to be patient. Uh, it takes some time uh, to. Because after you consider, we've been in the cycle of birth and death for millions and billions of lifetimes, thinking, I'm God, I'm the Supreme. We've been totally back in that for millions of births. So to get out of it instantly, it's not, maybe not so easy. After millions of lifetimes, you just immediately get rid of it. That tendency to think, I'm the Supreme, I'm the Supreme, I'm the Lord of all I So we can be patient. It's like even when you're sick, the doctor gives you some medicine, you, you take the pill, you say, well, I popped the pill, why am I not well, doctor? I took, I took, I popped the pill, why am I not well? It takes time, my dear patient. You have to follow the diet, and you have to follow the restrictions, and you have to take the medicine regularly every day, and gradually, 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 you get well. So we have to be patient. It takes some time before we'll be able to see Krishna face to face, I don't know, before we can see Goloka Vrindavan manifest. Uh, before us, he said, take some time. But the, the, the beauty of it is, Krishna says, okay, I'm going to give you, I'll give you some help. I'll appear in the front of the deity so you can see me immediately. You see his kindness. He appears in the front of the deity. This is Krishna himself. Krishna himself has come. And the photographs also. And the photographs, these are the, here we have uh, Garnetai and Krishna Balaram from Vrindavan. We we, Guru Maharaji and I are very much atta attra attracted and attached to uh, Iskand, Vrindavan, Krishna Balaram Manjan. We feel like we're home when we go there. Even the Shu Bala, she uh, recognizes this. We, we, we put our, we give them our shoes. We come, everybody they come back, they say, oh, uh, my shoes are, they point to real shoes. He doesn't, we don't have to point to our shoes. You know, there's hundreds of shoes there. So they come, they immediately know, oh, this is, and he immediately gives her our shoes. He knows where they are. It's Radha Sham, the shoe brother. So we have a special feeling of Vindavan. And he has this, and we get special treatment also from the shoe brother. We have a very good relationship with the bunch of good of the temple president. And Prabhupada Samadhi is there. So Krishna very kindly gives us Goloka Vrindavan. Um, Gokula Vrindavan. Vrindavan here on this earth planet. We can actually go and actually be connected with the vision of Vrindavan in the spiritual world. At the same time appears in uh, even these photographs, you've seen these photographs of Gornathai and Krishna Bhagavan. It actually takes you back to, the, to their association. They're, they're present in the deity and also in these photographs. And then we have all these acharyas here too. They're present in their photographs. Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, Gorakha Shardhan Babaji, Bhakti Vinatha Kaur, the six Goswamis. Rupa Sanatan, Bhaganatha, Bhaganatha, Gopal Bhakta, Jiva Goswami. We have the blessings of these, all, this, all these great sadhus associating. And then what is Speaker Prabhupada's books? Can you imagine? The mercy of Prabhupada's books. 
Prabhupada that's personally present. You, see. you can actually go and just like just like I had that opportunity when I got my Brahman initiation. It's just me and Prabhupada all alone in the room. Put it spread over the room. Paid the money. He gave me the mantra, the Gayatri mantra. Just imagine just being all alone or sitting in Prabhupada's lotus seat when he was singing that bhajan, Parama Karuna. Amazing. Beautiful. Parama Karuna for whom region. So wonderful. In 1975, and I'm sitting in Prabhupada's lotus feet. Decided to do a song class. It's like, wow, Prabhupada. And then, and then he had devotees play the play the recording back, and he played Madanga to the recording of him leading the song. Can you imagine what a leela that was to be there with Prabhupada when that was happening? But that same nectar, that same connection, that same feeling, that same mercy, that same blessing, that same auspiciousness is available just by just by taking just by taking reading these books and diving deep, deep, deep in the Prabhupada's book. Prabhupada is fully present in these books and just by reading these books and taking shelter of these books, taking shelter of these books, this is my shelter, these books are my shelter. This is my protection in this age of Kali. And all hell is breaking loose everywhere. My mind is being, a, and, my, and Kali is always giving me all these distractions, trying to distract me, distract me by this, by this. My wealth, my women, my followers, whatever, distraction, 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 distraction. But we have Prabhupada to save us, and Prabhupada has given us Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Tell their buddies, okay, 64 rounds a day. They couldn't handle they couldn't manage them. All right, 32, they couldn't, all right, 16, they couldn't possession. See, the actual, the Sasha says 64 rounds a day. The 16 is a concession for us, color you guys. Yes. But if we can even do, even do the 16 with love and devotion, focus. This is my duty to take shelter. But Krishna is actually coming. Lord, Krishna is present. Balaram is present. Radharani is present. They're all fully present in Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Let me go deep, 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 deep. You actually go deep into this mantra, you achieve deathlessness. You know what Prabhupada said? He said, deathlessness begins from the day of initiation. You actually, when you take initiation and you take it in your vows seriously, you've achieved immortality from that very moment when you got initiated. Your name is so-and-so Das or so-and-so Das. That very minute you, you enter the immortality. You take initiation vows very seriously. It's your life and soul. I've taken initiation from the bona fide spiritual master. Now this is my life and soul. His order is my my life. My life and soul is a care of the orders given to me by the spiritual master. The spiritual master doesn't concoct anything. He simply passes down what is coming from the previous acharya. It's and it goes back, back, back to Krishna. The bona fide spiritual master, the one who is perfectly representing the bona fide spiritual master, is perfectly representing the bona fide spiritual master. Going back, 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 who is perfectly representing Krishna. So to come in contact with the bona fide spiritual master is not different from coming in contact with Krishna himself. If we take our initiation vows very seriously, we're no longer living in this material existence. We may appear to be in the material existence, driving, driving up 183 or whatever, it is, and going to going to get flowers like they've gone to Trader Joe's today for the flowers. Paramatiji has gone, shoving and driving on it, shoving and driving. They appear in the material, but actually they're not in the material, but in the spiritual world. We engage in Krishna's service. We're actually situated in the spiritual room. So we have to take our, whatever we do, very seriously. But I'm washing the pots, cooking an offering, making some muffins, whatever I'm doing, distributing books, going on Harinam and Kirtan, you know, answering uh, emails coming in, so many questions are coming in about this and that and this and that, answering everything and according to the the authoritative scriptures, the authoritative teachings of the divine grace of Prabhupada. We can actually make a spiritual revolution on this planet. 
There's a very amazing verse in the Iti Hasha Shemuchiya, where Narada Muni is speaking to Pundarik. It's an amazing, amazing verse. Just consider this verse. You can find this in the C.C. Majalila, uh, chapter 8, verse number 246. C.C. Majalila 8, chapter 8, 246. I can remember it. Janmantara Sahasreshu. Yash Yashad Buddha Idrishi, Dasa Ambasadei Vasha, Sarvalokan Samudara. After many, many births, when one realizes he is the eternal servant of Vasadei, he can deliver all the worlds. Wow, can you imagine that? And even one devotee, if one devotee actually fully realizes, yes, I'm the eternal servant of Vasadei, one devotee can deliver. All the worlds. Now, what are all the worlds? Well, it could be all the free worlds in the universe, up, you know, upper, middle, and lower. Or it could be all of the universes, either. It could be all the universes in the material world. But it doesn't, it doesn't say. Think, well, at least it's all three worlds of this universe. I know that much. could be even all the universes in the whole material world. I was on, one time was confused. Trying to figure out when Papa says to live in the world, what's he talking about? This planet, this universe, the whole material world. So I, I wrote my exalted godmother, Ramina Sarupabu. He was a farm. He was formerly a GBC. I don't know who he is now, but the PhD in religion. He's a very senior, uh, learned uh, pundit in our movement. So I asked him. I said, my, I said, Prabhu, is it when to live in the world? I mean, this planet, this universe, the whole material world. He said. He said, we deliver this planet, Krishna will show us the next step. We can do that. We can pull off making this whole planet, Krishna conscious. Don't worry. Krishna will, Krishna will come. We can do that, Krishna will give us the intelligence. What, what does it mean? What's the next step, he said. But, as Papa told Rameshwar, he was the big guy, he was one of the big leaders in the old days. He was the GBC in charge of the BBT. He was big in LA and where was Papa said that the most important thing is to live with the world, even more important is to live ourselves. So, if you can, we just have to, if we focus on making ourselves pure devotees of Krishna, you see, and everything will follow from that. And even his amazing statement in the Prabhupada says, if one chants the holy name of the Lord without offense, he becomes Jaga Guru, and under his influence, the whole world takes up Krishna consciousness. So you have a you have a you have a potential revolution right there in your bead bag, Prabhu. Can you imagine? You have delivering the whole universe right there in your bead bag. You have making the whole world Krishna conscious right there in your bead bag. Consider that. I can just give up these damn rods <laughs> and hiding me from birth for many many years. This this distraction, that distraction. So many distractions. Yato yato nishchalati man nash chantala mastaram tatas tato nayan yata atma nirisham yagat. From whatever and wherever the mind wanders, you would flickering on steady each day, one must certainly withdraw it and bring it back under the control of the soul. Okay, you little rascal. You monkey mind jumping here, jumping there, from this branch to that branch. You rascal mind, now you come back and you go firmly, you firmly absorb yourself in Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. My dear mind, even the Achari is saying, what is that song? Bhaja Hure Mana, Sri Nanda Nandana, Abhaya Chana Nara Vind, my dear mind. Please now engage yourself in the devotional service of the Divine Son of Nanda Maharaj. Good Bhakti Manoj, isn't it Bhakti Manoj? Yeah, very, very nice song. Bhaja could be Narita, I forget. Maybe it's someone else. But anyway, that one of the songs in our songbook. Bhaja Gurema. See if we can look at this in this. Now that we're talking about that, let's look it up. Read that song in detail. Okay. Uh, okay. 
what's the name of this song? Govindas Kaviraj. Govindas Kaviraj? Okay. So we'll call the... Oh, yeah, there it is. Page 100. Oh, that's a nice round number. Page 100, yeah. Very good. Page 100, yes. Hmm. Bajahure mana shri na 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 abaya chada na da vindure Durlaba mana vajana ma satsangi chada hai baba chindure Oh my! Just worship the lotus feet of the son of Nanda, which make one fearless, having obtained this rare human birth, cross over this ocean of worldly existence through the association of saintly persons. Sita atapa batabadishana edina jamani jagire dipale sevinu kripana durajana Chapala Sukha Lava Lagive. Both in the day and the night I remain sleepless, I remain sleepless, suffering the pains of the heat and cold, the wind and the rain. For a fraction of my flickering happiness, I have uselessly served wicked and miserly men. Edana Jovana Putra Padijana Iteki Yache Pada Titire. Kamala jala dala jivala dala mala bhajahu hari bhara niti re. What assurance of real happiness is there in all of one's wealth, youthfulness, sons and family members? This life is a tottering like a drop of water on a lotus petal. Therefore, you should always serve and worship the divine feet of Lord Hari. Shavana Kirtana Smarana Vandana Pada Sevana Dashyare Pujana Sakijana Admani Vedana Govinda Dasa Abhila Survey It is the desire and great longing of Govinda Das to engage himself in the nine processes of bhakti, namely hearing the glories of Lord Javi, and chanting those glories, constantly remembering him and offering prayers to him, serving the Lord's lotus feet, serving the Supreme Lord as a servant, worshiping him with flowers and incense and so forth, serving him as a friend and completely offering the Lord one's very self. You see how these great Vaishnavacharyas are blessing us with such nice bhajan, nice books, nice Vaishnava songs. To help us tune in, turn on, and bliss out. To get out of all this anxiety, you see. So there's a nice, another nice song, another nice prayer. Haha Prabhu Nityananda Premananda Sukhi Kripa Balokana Boro Ami Rododuki My dear Lord Nityananda, I see that you're always full of spiritual bliss. But I am most unhappy. Therefore, this is not a tongue pray, but, but please, please cast your glance of mercy upon me so I can also become this way. So that's our position right now. We're suffering this material, isn't it? We're suffering so many anxieties, this anxiety, that anxiety, boom, 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 being bashed by all these damn anxieties, isn't it? For Lord Chaitanya, He's in great spiritual bliss, so we can actually pray to him. My Lord, Nithinanda, I'm really miserable, I'm depressed, I'm confused, I'm, I'm, I'm blustery, I'm angry, I'm greedy, I'm lazy, I have all these problems, I'm so miserable. Please, Lord Nithinanda, cast your glance of mercy upon me. You're full of spiritual bliss, so please cast your glance of mercy on me, my dear Lord Nithinanda, that I can also become blissful, just like you are blissful. Please bless me. I can always be in a state of divine ecstasy 24 hours a day in all times, all places, and circumstances. We can actually pray that. Now, Thomas, that prayer is given to us by Prabhupada. You can beg Lord and Nanda for you to make, make you happy. We can actually, it's bona fide. It's not, it's not a material desire to beg Lord and Nanda to bless you with this. And beg Lord and Nanda, 
توی یه بس نگاه بس Not the bliss, of, the bliss of devotional service, not the bliss of sense gratification. Don't call it bliss. So, we have a few minutes left. Anybody have any questions, any complaints, any arguments, disagreements, revolutions? Let's see, we have some, but maybe something coming in. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, Allison is here. Let's see. Mr. Duna is giving. Okay. Dr. Guru. Let's see. Back to Sunil. I understand that one's speech should be pleasing, but one may have to talk strongly in mundane dealings. How to perfectly balance the. Actually, a devotee can speak very strongly. Just like that time that I started to tell the story many times, I was passing out sweets. Uh, in Gainesville, a college town on University Avenue, passing out Simply Wonderful every month. Some smart aleck he goes, Coman, he knocks all the Simply Wonderfuls out in the street. So, you think I should have spoken strongly or just kind of said, hello? No, I said, I said, you better get out there and pick up all those tweets right now. Like I'm going to beat the hell out of it. Of course, I, 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 I'm not a fighter, but I, I spoke like I'm going to beat the hell out of it if he didn't do it right on the spot. And what, and he went, he went and picked it, he ran to the street and picked up all the sweets. Because I spoke strongly, very heavily. So, uh, uh, see, Krishna Ganges means sun, strict like a thunderbolt and soft like a rose. You can be very soft and like a rose or you can be like a thunderbolt. Who's calling? Silver City. Who? Silver City. So, yeah, we one can be very. You can be one can be like a thunderbolt. One can speak be like a thunderbolt. Kawam, because I was like a thunderbolt with that that smart aleck like hippie, and uh, it, it it completely flipped out of his his ridiculous mentality. He became a devotee all of a sudden. He ran in the street and picked up all the sweets, and I helped him. We got them all picked up before the light turned green. It was a, Luckily, the light was red and the cars weren't running. So, but before the light turned green, we had all the sweets back in the bowl. Every every sweet was picked up. And they actually had weren't broken. I think I still passed them out because Prashad is considered never contempt. Actually, there's stories in the books of it. They would throw the Prashad on, on the streets and people would take it. So anyway, let's see what else we got here. Okay. All right. Back to Yamu Yam. So um, that's all right. You can hear next time, Back to Yamu. Sharda Devi Dasi. The question. Should I believe you mentioned that uh, one has to approach a authority to understand about God or Krishna? Yeah, you go to a, one of these rascals that say that I'm God, you're God, we're all God, they misled you. Yeah. So sometimes it happens that some devotees or some persons, they go to these rascal uh, people and then they just stop there. And some of them, they come out like yourself. Somehow you come out from that Mayavadi. Yeah. But some others, they, they, they stay in the Mayavadi. So What's the difference? They, yes. How was I saved and they weren't saved? Why, why, would, why did I, there were so many other people who, who also um, rejected this, you know, went to hear this Maya body guru, why did I end up rejecting my body philosophy? Why did they did not? That's an interesting question. Why did some people actually come out of the Maya body contamination and become devotees and, and some did not? That, that's an interesting question. Um, what is it? What's the difference between one who actually comes out of the, the clutches of mind and those who stay in the clutches of mind? One thing is, one is if one is very determined to achieve to, to achieve perfection, that's one thing. When I say, if one is very determined that I must now achieve spiritual perfection, that determination can make a difference. 
The little sparrow is determined to drive the ocean. That's one thing. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Sharda Devi Dasi, just like the stomach is satisfied immediately after taking food, similarly one can be satisfied immediately if one satisfies the Lord or it takes time. Actually, there's, there's instant satisfaction. Instant nirvana. Um, if one, one can become instantly satisfied uh, by by chanting Hare Krishna or by taking Vishadam, you can get instant, instant satisfaction. It happens all the time. People can go, wow, they, can, they get like a, like a zap of mercy uh, from one experience, hearing one lecture or, or enjoying a kirtan. It happens again and again. Just by one experience, people feel a tremendous difference in their life. Leila Manjari, how can one represent one's spiritual master properly by not adding or subtracting anything to the, these teachings, whatever Prabhupada has given? You see, I'm, I'm, I'm the disciple of many of you. I'm, my duty is to give you purely exactly what Prabhupada gave me. So, so my instruction is that you should read Prabhupada's books, hear Prabhupada's lectures, Study everything, everything about him, everything he said, everything he did, and purely represent his teaching uh, in every, in, without, it, without changing them in any way. So it's very simple. You have to, to know exactly, you have, to, you have to read the books, you have to study the books, you have to hear his lectures, you have to, you have to, you have to immerse yourself. There's, there's like the directions on the internet, they're all, all there. You can, get on, you can download them and put them in your smartphone. So when you're walking down the street, you can hear Prabhupada's lectures. When you're walking, you're, you're walking on the way to work or school, you can actually hear lectures. So take advantage of all this mercy. And uh, tune in. Re regularly read these books. Every day read Prabhupada's books. You should, be reading all, you should read all the way through all the books. And then do it again. Again and again. Throughout your whole life, you should be reading again and again through all the books. Again and again and again. Loop in the loop in the loop. Start out the Bhagavad Gita, and there's then the Srimad Bhagavatam is there, Chaitanya Charamita, Nectar Devotion, Teachings of Bhaktivedanta, Sri Upanishad, Nectar of Instruction. All the books that Prabhupada authored, you should, those should be on your, your priority list. All the books that he personally wrote to, to give us Bhagavad Gita, Sri Upanishad, Nectar of Instruction, Srimad Bhagavatam. Chaitanya Charter made a natural devotion, teachings of Lord Chaitanya, if it, whatever else I think, on the easy journey to other planets. Also, he authored that. Whatever he authored, you should read those books again and again and again throughout your whole life. That will give you a connection with him. You'll, you'll, you'll get mercy from him. you get blessings from him. How to understand this philosophy properly, how to present it, philosophy, present it properly. Any, any, anything here? Yes. Sometimes a selfish desire comes in the mind and we, we lose our focus in the energy of our mind because the energy is so powerful. The energy is so powerful that yeah. when we are so Oh, yeah, Maya is very strong. Yeah. It can be very strong, yeah. At that time, how to keep the focus on this? This is my intention, this is my goal, this is where I would go. You have to, the intelligence is. Uh, <clears throat> The intelligence watches over the mind, so you have to intel you have to you intelligently analyze, psychoanalyze yourself. You have to see when your mind is off the track and when it's properly on the track. The intelligence is a discriminating factor. You have to, have to you say, oh my mind. You have to see your mind's off the track. You have to know you have to know your mind's off the track and bring it back on the track. Can I ask a question? Can I follow a question? Because Bhagavad Gita says that when the situation comes up, even the mind, the man of intelligence, can stop this community. That's why you have to. That's why you have to base your intelligence not on your own speculation, but on the authoritative teaching of the scriptures. Your intelligence is actually based on the scripture, not on your um, your, your genitals or your tongue. You have to base your intelligence on the scripture. You get your intelligence from. By hearing, the, reading Baba's books, that gives you the intelligence to discriminate between what's good for my Krishna consciousness and what's bad for my Krishna consciousness. 